Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2. Uh, as, as we all know, if we have caught up on our Crusader Kings 2, uh, two streams ago was a fucking travesty. Last stream was great! We got all of our land back. Uh, we're not quite as good as we used to be. Of course, we need to build our land back up and whatnot. Uh, this is our capital. I just want to double check. Yes, we have made that our capital again, because Aden was our capital for a bit. We do have wars going against us right now, but I think we'll be fine. And money is getting good again. We, we're building our trade post back up. It's not to what it used to be yet. It's not even close, but you know, we'll get there. It's payday, fellas! Thanks for the $5 there, Pachi Cat. I appreciate that. Uh, Pachi Cat says, I said I would sub uh, when I got a job, but I'd rather just give you the five bucks. In fairness, yeah, I do get significantly more of the five dollars if you donate it. I get, uh... I, I think I get all of it either than like 10 cents when you just donate it like that, whereas with subscription on Twitch, I get half of the $5, so I appreciate that. So we do have good old Mecha back. Uh, we are, we're building up the trade post on it. Like, by default, it's still a lot of money, but once we upgrade it, it'll get us a lot more. We gotta build up our retinue in here again. Our retinue is much lower than it could be, or sorry, our levy, and we are building up the retinue because we do have dangerous factions, and they are very dangerous. It's at 95% of our power right now, trying to get Amon for Abyssinia, which we very much don't want. That'll split our kingdom in half. Um, so our retinues building up will help deal with that. We need to have a lot of money on hand for emergency mercenaries if it comes to that. And we are part of another war right now. Now this one, we're just, we were called in on behalf of the Sultanate, because the Abbasid Sultanate, um, we are a... We are, we have an alliance with them right now. So we're helping them with that war. And this other war that we're in is second Abyssinia Revolt League for independence. So it's Abyssinia trying to get, um, trying to usurp. Yeah, it's a usurping host, right? Child of Concubine, Frail, Game Master. Wow, this is an interesting man. And you can see he has the Buddhist swastika. But he's trying, he's fighting up there, okay. And he is... Yeah, he's declaring the Sultanate. Okay, both of the wars that we're in are not for my land. Uh, the only reason there's a little fight going on there is because for whatever reason, uh, that land is actually owned by an Abyssinia revolt. That particular mosque is not owned by me. That's actually run by an Abyssinia vassal. Uh, so we've already sieged that down, because that's quite easy. Um, do we have any troops raised right now? We do. Right, we have some armies up here. We have guys down there that we don't really need raised. Yeah, we're just getting a little bit of sieging on here just so that we've contributed to the war. So that no one can call us an alliance breaker. That's on this war. We haven't contributed to the other war yet. But that's uh, that's a bit far away. We'll, we'll, continue, we'll continue to contribute to this war first. You know? And we're saving money, too. We're using vassal troops. And hey, if our vassals lose some troops, then some of those vassals might be ones in the uh, faction against us. That'll make them weaker compared to us. We'll just build up our own personal levy. Swastika on Twitch ban hammer incoming. Honestly, I don't think Twitch would, would care if they saw a Buddhist swastika. Because the Buddhist swastika just means peace and prosperity. Do they know the difference? I'm not convinced that they do, but I think they'd at least Google it and figure out it's a Buddhist thing and leave it alone. All right, let's keep this war going then. We're just we're just doing a little bit of sieging here. We're trying not to get too, too involved, but you know. How many years in are we? Says Reformist uh, Drobert. I think that's how you pronounce that. We're at year 897 AD. So we're about 100 years away from the Crusades, which will be a big turning point. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And we do still have that big threat to the north, um, right here, which is a Shia uprising with 25,000 event spawn troops. They've fucked us before, they will fuck us again at some point. It sucks, but what can you do? Oh, what is this? Uh, bad news from Mecca. Oh, we had the bad random event. Oh, did we just gain a new name? Oh, we just got the nickname Ironside. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we got the random event, negative event for collecting taxes where you piss off the peasantry. It sucks, there's a higher chance of a revolt in our capital, 
And as much as I would normally just suppress her revolt with my marshal for a few years, we do need to train troops in our capital to make sure that we both have a lot of personal troops and that we train them up quickly because our garrison is quite empty. We need that for the sake of the other revolts we might be having, so it's important. We also still have the highway robber bands lowering the total levy size there. There's a lot of little things we need to do right now. Okay, um... Yeah, just keep sieging these bits of desert. They're not very high wealth places. Our enemy has died. The war has ended. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, the war ended inconclusively. Uh, we'll just move our troops on over to our other battlefield then. Which would be... Up in here, I guess. I don't see any glowing land to siege. I... I'm Look zooming out and I... I'm rich. It's payday, fellas. Oh, is this glowing? Oh. Yes. Wait, which side of that border is glowing? Is it this side? No, that's the Western Protectorate. These guys? Yeah, it is these guys. Oh, Jesus, they're far away. The Western... Yeah, the Western Protectorate. Okay. Uh, Cobra Commander donates $5 and says, Couldn't find the subscribe button, so here's some dosh anyways. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, that is very nice. Uh, I, you know what? Well, you guys just donated a total of 10 American dollars. That's like $5,000 in my native Canada. Um, oh shit, is, is Iran starting to get a bit of independence here? Because usually these border, um, these border states here are usually, uh, Zoroastrianist. And they usually attempt to reform uh, Persia. Oh, they're Jewish. Okay, this starts as Zoroastrian. It looks like their rulers went Jewish at some point. Holy shit. Yeah, we actually have a major Jewish power. Is it just the leader that's Jewish? Okay, and he's Zoroastrian. It might just be the liege that's Jewish and the majority of the rulers there. Oh no, you know what? There are quite a few Jews. It's iffy. It's a lot of different religions there. That might collapse because of religious stress. Huh. Uh, but yeah, that those five billion dollars you just sent me, uh, guys, I, I maybe we'll, we'll get some nice for the pay-per-view tonight. Um, maybe we'll get some nice to eat for the pay-per-view tonight, the WWE pay-per-view. We'll see. All right, let's see if we can back up our guys up here. Probably not a whole lot we can do just because they are quite powerful. Uh, but we'll see what we can do. We at least want to contribute a bit. And we've got another 5% on the revolt risk in terms of, like, us having a better armor compared to them. So they're steadily losing army compared to us, which is very important. We are building up some retinues right now to help with that. Sneaking around. Oh, before I forget, guys, I'm going to post this in the live chat for you guys. I found a fucking wonderful picture that somebody on the subreddit for CK2 made. I just posted in the chat for you guys. Um, somebody in the YouTube comment section when this airs on YouTube, remind me to post this in the comments for you guys, because you might, might find it helpful as well. Um, it is a portrait or a picture that shows every childhood focus, what traits it can lead to, and what that helps with education-wise. It is incredibly useful. Like, it taught me that thrift is really good. It leads to shitloads of really good traits. It shows you that if you want a stewardship education, duty actually gives them better traits for that. It shows them that if you want someone to be shit, teach them humility, because humility, humility leads to tons of uh, really bad traits to have, but good ones for your vassals to have because it leads to being content and stuff like that that would make for a, a really good vassal who doesn't cause problems for you. Like, man, that is a useful chart, guys. Everybody should bookmark that. Uh, I've bookmarked it myself. Anyway, uh, yeah, my daughter's opening letters. I can become cruel. Yeah, this would make me cruel. I wouldn't mind being cruel. It, oh, you know what? Yeah, moral damage is nice if I'm leading troops, but it doesn't give me martial skill, so I don't want the negative vassal opinion. I'll say she could use some practice reading and just lose a tiny, tiny amount of prestige. Chat's bookmarking it? Sweet. That is a very useful post. Uh, I, f I saw it on the Reddit the other day, and it is great. I'm going to be referring back to that a lot, I think. In fact, I'm going to ask you guys to help me refer back to that every now and again. 
my sister and she's married someone some, right she was betrothed to some kid in the sultanate i accept that betrothal i want strong ties to them for now because i'm not going to be attacking them for a very long time i'm probably going to be pushing out into africa before i go pushing east although i do want to be the caliph one day Okay, uh, worrying reports have reached you that your marshal seems to be using soldiers to extort money from the peasantry. I hate this. Yeah, no matter what, it pisses off the peasants, and it gives me three years of half the tax modifier, which really hurts my income. Not great. Uh, but I can use this as an excuse to fire him if I want. I... Do I have a better guy? I do have a significantly better guy, so I think I will fire... Oh, but this guy has cancer. He might be about to die. This is iffy. Um, do we have a really good guy that we could have join? Not really. We have a backup before him who is also good. Okay, I will use this opportunity to fire him then. Oh, but he's also my court physician. I don't want to piss him off. Because he's an amazing physician. Okay, let's do what has to be done to make our army stronger. He forfeits his office. Hope he doesn't hate my guts too much for that. It's his own damn fault. Alright, we'll take this guy for now. Train troops in the capital. He should be getting us a very large army. Um, this is who? This man. Who's not very powerful. I don't think I want a betrothal. Oh, it's for a courtier? Sure. That's fine. I just don't want an alliance with him. Alright, keep marching. Uh, was wounded by an angry peasant mob. Great. Fuck. Our, our steward is injured. Uh, another Cortair marriage? Go for it. Ash says, can I watch a pay-per-view with you later? Like the good old days of 2016. I do definitely want to do that again. Uh, I can't tonight. I already have too many plans. And I'm in too much of a rush tonight to set it up. Wow, we must have just... Oh, right, because he was leading the center. Right, right, right. Okay, uh, just you because you're somebody and we need more commanders. In fact, uh, could we go ahead and appoint a few more commanders? We're quite low. A lead the center guy. We'll take him. We actually don't have an organizer anymore. Could we go ahead and pick up an organizer? This guy's an organizer, we'll take him. Gotta make sure we have someone that keeps the army marching fast, considering, uh... You know, it's a bit of a march. There we go, that'll speed it up drastically. Can you show my character? I'm wondering, uh, if I'm right for China, says sorry, it's me. Well, if we click this... Uh, what is it? You, you like, uh, Tengris, you don't like, uh, Mazdan religions? Uh, oh, right, they're out of their famine finally, so a lot more money is going to be coming down the Silk Road, and they are open policy good. So, money's really going to start pouring in. Pay tribute, eunuch, or are you concubine, I forget. Super Gecko could be a concubine, my aunt. Not worth much, though. Uh, and if we want to send a eunuch over... Not great choices, not great choices. You're worth the most grace. You're my, or uh, you're my physician though, and you're very talented. Imam Vizier Cortair, some random Cortair. You're 73, and now you're a eunuch for China. Uh, the uh, GUI is very small. I can't see crap. I know. Sorry. It's why I make these streams uh, full screen so it's easier to read them. Um. We have found a mod that makes the UI bigger, but it makes it so incredibly big you can't see shit going on, like, on the battlefield and stuff. So this is the, the middle ground. Alright, and a concubine super gecko? You're off to China. Alright, we just got some easy grace with China. Primary room. You're 73 and now you're a eunuch for China. Congrats. Uh, that is if being made a eunuch doesn't kill you first. Yeah. When you're that old with this bad of health care, you... Um, right. So, back to this. 
Oh, and uh, sorry, it's me wanted to see how they're doing. Oh, and somebody on YouTube requested to see the family tree just to get a recap of it. So if we look, can I? Oh, right, you drag your arms right click on this screen and left click to move the window. That's so awkward. All right, this is the family tree right now. Uh, well, oop. this is us. So we started uh, Amir Muhammad the Hunter. I believe that is actually the character we started as, isn't it? You're, yeah. So this was our starting character. We had Sassfrius and Fiery Dylan, Zobik, Yuryu, <coughs> and Yoavner. They're all dead. That was that was uh, like 200 years ago. They're all dead. Uh, my great grandmother. Wait, is she is she alive? There's no way. Yeah, there's no way she's alive. If I uh, can't select her, okay. Um, then we go down to Muffins, uh, Sultan Muffins the Strong, who was one of our greatest leaders. We really expanded during that time. Um, right, we we had Yo Avner the Lionheart. He did a lot. Then we went down to Muffins the Strong. Uh, Yo Avner had Milo X Yunto, Taco Man, Sassaris. And Black Skull Dragon. Oh, and Black Skull Draven, uh, Dragon also had a Yoavner who died at the age of one. Uh, Muffins had some kids not named after you guys. Then Yoavner to the second, uh, who I believe was alive for like a year of us playing as him or something ridiculously young. He died, and he had uh, Abdul Wahab, who is Ironside, who is who we are right now. He also had Sari Three the Third, uh, who is in prison for being decadent. And we have had the kids of uh, Marinery, Doctor Nimbus, and Annoying Wizard, and that is everybody we've named so far. Beautiful. That that's the update of the family tree. Uh, Ash says, "When do I get to rule? Maybe you'll be the next kid, and maybe you'll end up taking the throne. Who knows?" Uh, you accept the gracious gift. I'm happy you you like the the eunuch or the concubine. Um, you want another courtier? Sure. Why do you want all my courtiers? You missed me? Oh, did I miss you? Sorry. Um, that was uh, David Corpereal. Uh, has an okay, yeah, an inheritance is fine. Hopefully, the person who inherited it hates me less. Uh, with my great martial ability, I've rounded up and executed the robber bands that were plaguing Medina. Okay, good. So Medina's gonna get me more troops. I was hoping that would happen in Mecca first, because that has way more troops than fucking Medina. Oh, god, disease is hitting. Yep. Uh, Camp Fever. Has not hit the capital yet, but it will. Camp Fever is typhus. That's pretty bad. Hope we don't get them. We have so many negative effects here because the guys who conquered this from us had wicked debt issues and so all kinds of problems cropped up and now we're having to fix it all. Uh, Medina doesn't really get us any troops, does it? It gives us a tiny, tiny bit. 480, or 408, sorry. And that's gonna go up a little bit now that that levy is taken care of, the levy issue. Ah, uh, that's a shame. A pixelated uh, night, what happened so far? We're just marching to go deal with uh, an allies war. We're not gonna be able to do much, but it's something. Uh, they got that big ass army there. What kind of army are our allies contributing to this right now? Are they not contributing much? They seem to have a lot of small groups around. We might wanna do some hit and runs on their land just to get a little bit of uh, involvement in the war so that we can't be called an alliance breaker but you know these are nomadic step people they're gonna move a lot faster than we do so we're gonna have to hope luck's on our side on this one because they move faster than we do or at least i'd imagine they would considering they're almost entirely mounted uh, improved relations that's good we are still trying to get our uh, our vassals on our side okay the Dangerous Faction is now only at 77% of ours, so we're looking much safer. Okay, and a group just cropped up here and we can hit them early. This will be good. A Peasant Revolt was declared in Mecca, which we kind of saw coming. 
That really sucks, though, because that's where the center of our troops are. Oh, fuck. I should have held control while doing that. That was stupid of me. Well, too late now. That'll do a little bit of damage, but not much. Uh, yeah, that was really stupid of me. We might even need to call up some mercenaries. 